Now it's time to start adding your eyes. That would be the next step. So add a new layer and zoom into this head and go ahead and go back to your shape tool. This time you want to have an ellipse again and click and drag an ovalish shape depending on how big you want your eyes to be. Change the fill color this time to white. And the shape of your eyes will depend on the expression that you want your emoji to have and of course the person that you are trying to make. So for example, for my rocky guy here, I gave him kind of this slanted backwards look because when I was looking at his picture, that's kind of what I saw here. There was a, a grim termination on his face and I think that I captured that pretty well. For mine, I wanted a little bit more of a feminine look, so I pulled up the edges of my eyes so that they would be tilted upward. So how do you do that? The easiest way that I've found to do it is to go to that transform again, command T, and you can grab your warp. And for Rocky, I just kind of pulled the top in a little bit and I pulled the bottom up a little bit and pulled that down and that gave it kind of that jelly bean kind of shape. It's kind of if somebody has a furrowed brow. For mine, with a more feminine eye, I just pulled up on this edge right here and messed with a couple of the handles and then I tilted it and you have to re-enter transform mode to get it to tilt like so and that gives you that shape or if you just want a more squinted look you can pull all of this in like so of course you could do this before you begin when you create your shape but then you can squeeze it down even more with your warp tool. So you're just gonna have to play with this and see what kind of eyes you want. I'll just go back to what I did for Rocky Balboa over there. Something a bit like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it like so. Go over and rasterize that.